Okay, so today we're going to talk about what were, happened to our potted plants. A lot of our potted plants are showing this brown edge around the leaves and you know it's really not a good look and, but uh, Har has investigated this and he can tell you all about it. Well I'm not 100% positive but I think it's boron toxicity. The fertilizer that uh, we're using is a mostly slow release fertilizer but the boron in it is not slow release and the fertilizer has 0.22 percent boron which is kind of high. Uh, that's good for anonas and a few other things but we've learned from experience here that this is not the fertilizer we want to keep using on these containers. It was probably exacerbated also by uh, momentary dryness. Once you dissolve fertilizer into the soil, mineral salts into the soil, if the soil then gets dry for a few hours or a day, uh, suddenly the condition is way worse than if the fertilizer salts were not in the soil because uh, the salts, when the soil dries, then pull moisture out from the root hairs, kill the root hairs. So um, this particular plant has a little fruit on it, so it hasn't sent, sent out any new leaves, but have a couple other examples here. Uh, got the boron toxicity here, and the new, well, this one actually has a fruit too, but we have a few new leaves that look very good. And this one doesn't have a fruit at all, and so it's got more, more leaf growth when it doesn't have to support a fruit. And those new leaves look like they're just perfect. You see the difference between the the ones that were damaged and the new leaves are fine. Uh, and that's due to two things, because uh, of more rain recently and more watering when realizing that we had the problem. Uh, so the soil is moister, but also in the process it's actually washed some of the excess boron out. Boron leaches out pretty readily. And then also what uh, Har did was use gypsum on the, the surface of the soil, just a, a very light layer on the, uh, the surface to neutralize some of that effect, uh, right? The... Yeah, gypsum helps to moderate the effects of excess salts of any kind in the soil, including sodium chloride or sea salt from the sea breeze. And also there's a another effect and that is that uh, if there was an imbalance of low calcium and high something else that of course when you add the calcium sulfate or gypsum you are now providing calcium and so that imbalance is gone. So anyway the basic thing is even though the plants look bad, they're on their road to recovery, and it's a temporary thing and a learning experience. <laughs> yeah, pretty shocking. <laughs> yeah, oops. <laughs>